whole purpose of today is to set the record straight. Until recently, a live video was posted on the Ricky Smiley um, page uh, by the new producers of the show, of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, um, where some false information was given out. Um, so, that's why. One big question we got, Kim, across all all of the social media um, was about Juicy. So, Latasha Thomas on Twitter and... There's a bunch of those on Instagram, too. Uh, yeah, and Helen Tyler on Facebook asked, where is Juicy? I miss her. I thought she was going to be part of the show. I want to say, so did I. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, really, we're both new to the show. Um, joined the show in January. Yeah. And the decision about the cast was already determined. But I was excited to see when I was watching the Clark Sisters on Lifetime that Juicy's back on real, not Real Housewives, Little, Little Women, Women of Atlanta. Atlanta. So you can catch her on Lifetime on Real Women of Atlanta. Yeah, and hopefully she'll, thing. you know, make a guest appearance on the show or sometime, something like that. Yeah. And I think that's also something people didn't realize, too, is that when Ricky took over Tom's show, he moved to Dallas. Right. So... A lot of the she couldn't was do Little Women of Atlanta if she was in Dallas. Dallas. Right. Right. Do they have a Little Women of Dallas? I don't think so. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I don't think so. Um, Pause. Eva Marcel is a member of Real Housewives of Atlanta, which is filmed in Atlanta. But she did get contracted to work for the Ricky Smiley show in Dallas. So how does that work? So if she can do and film Real Housewives of Atlanta... Juicy can film Little Women of ATL. Like, I'm not understanding the correlation. And by their body language, it kind of seems like they're lying. Miss Juicy had been a part of the Ricky Smiley show for about 12 years. And she was known for her vibrant personality, her crazy voice, her singing, her dancing, her just being an amazingly funny person. After watching her response to this, which I'm going to link the full video at the end of this, I can understand her viewpoint. Like, she wants to be respected. I feel like throughout the show, you know, they would take digs at her out of jokes. I mean, they all joked, but some for some reason, I felt like they already disrespected Miss Juicy Moore. And that brought me back to a clip, which I'm going to play right now, of Juicy <laughs> saying she was going to sue them. Uh, Juicy, now, what's, what's, what's um, going on? Because you've been with her how many years? Twelve. Twelve years. <laughs> so what's going on? I mean, the level of disrespect in this room. I mean, we're supposed to be one big, happy family, you know, spreading I mean, the love to our problems. listeners. And the room, right, it's just full of disrespect. So, so how do you feel disrespected? What happened? I mean, well, I wrote a letter, and and I do, I do plan on taking action because oh. I mean, oh, you don't have to do all that. You just read the read the letter because whatever we did. You well, know, you whatever, why you all... say I don't have to do it because it wasn't done to you? Oh. So if you're not familiar with that whole segment, I just took a clip of it. There was a picture of Miss Juicy's hair. She had just taken down her braids, and they put it up against a picture of. Frederick Douglass and the brat actually took the picture and sent it I guess to their group Ricky is the one that actually posted it and they couldn't understand why she would feel some type of way and they were giggling and sniggling the whole time um Eva did apologize and I'll insert the link so you can go watch the whole thing but the brat basically did not apologize she just came off really stank I think moments like these just kind of added up, and Miss Juicy was just sick of it. She was tired of the disrespect. She realized her self-worth. So I just want to clear the air and set the record straight and let everybody know. So um, it is a bittersweet ending because of the simple fact that 12 years, you've grown to know people as family. And so you thought, and um, you want to know them as family, the chemistry, the love, um, the connections, everything.
but um, and it had to come to an end. So I know you was told recently uh, by the live video that was posted that the reason why I left was because I was filming. Uh, because I had to film Little Women Atlanta. I'm a part of Little Women Atlanta. Everyone knows. Um, and I, there's no way that I would be able to film that show and the Ricky Smiley Morning Show move to Dallas, Texas. That is not the reason. So everybody was would know. It wasn't because I had to film Little Women Atlanta and I couldn't be in Dallas. It, I was not fired. Other comments were saying that I was fired. So, um, again, that's another reason why I say I, I feel like I owed it to my fans and to my supporters, my listeners, and everybody else. I feel like if something was going to be said, again, this is my opinion, if something was going to be said, it should have been the truth or a corporate political comment should have been made such as yes Miss Juices is no longer with us she decided to move on we wish her well and we wish her well on all of her future endeavors now this is also a lesson learned everybody is different everybody comment and everybody handle things differently. Um, that's not the way I would have handled it, but I feel like if something should have been said, it should have been said correctly or nothing been said at all. But again, that wasn't me making the statement, and so that was made. Um... As you all know, I understand that my fans saw clean through that. That's another reason why I went ahead and came for it. Because there's no way, nowhere near the truth. Because it's impossible. Because the Ricky Smiley Morning Show have other personalities on the show that are also there and are filming Atlanta-based reality shows. Or, don't have to be a reality show, Atlanta-based shows. And they are on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. So you know that's not the truth. Um, but, I felt like I owed it to you guys to let you know the reason why I'm no longer on the show is because I was not offered a new contract to be on the new show. And when I wasn't offered a new contract to be on the new show, my lawyers worked very hard tried very hard to get them to offer something anything and nothing was offered so at that time I had to realize what my worth was was I going to continue to go on and work another 12 years with someone that I have been working 12 years for for under the same terms or was I going to move move on and so that was a lesson learned so because I know my work and I know what God has for me is for me I decided to move on because one thing I have learned we can miss out on our blessings 
if we try to stay in a situation that we're not meant to stay in or we're only there for a season. God put us in situation and places to be for a reason and for a season. You got to know when it's your time. If you don't know when it's your time, if you don't recognize it, you can miss out on your blessing. So, it was bittersweet at first. I was very, very upset at first. Because I felt like all of the hard work, all of the the people that I thought was family, I just thought everything was done for nothing. But the person that I am, because I'm rooted in God, I know who I am. And I've learned how to recognize when it's my time to move or when it's my time to stay. So on December the 19th, I turned in my resignation letter. Um, letting them know that I will no longer be on the show. In December 2019 is when I turned in my letter. So come January 2020, I would not be a part of the Rick and Smiley Morning Show. Again, I knew my work. Move on. Since I moved on, just like the, like the blessings God had blessed me with that opportunity, He has blessed me many, 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 many more times. And plus, I thank, now I'm able to say thank you, Ricky Smiley, for the opportunity and for the platform you gave me. Again, it was bittersweet because I've been around these same people for 12 years or more for some. But I don't hold nothing against them. I don't have any grudges. No nothing. I love them. I appreciate, again, Ricky so many times much for the platform and for the opportunity that he gave me. Even though I would have loved to continue to go on with the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. But one thing I have learned, I'm not the one that read, write, and direct my life. God does. So no matter what I had in mind, that might not be in the direction that God wanted me to go. Again, learn what you can learn when you need to learn it. So, um, I know some of you guys might have been expecting a bash, but this is not what you were going to get here. Um, again, I moved on. The reason why I was brought up is because it was false information, and I wanted you guys to know the truth. Yes, Little Women is back. That's not the reason why I left. I will be on the new Little Women of Atlanta season six. Lifetime. That that's Little Women Atlanta. I just wanted to make sure y'all had the name correctly. It is on Lifetime. I will also be on Claws, which is on TNT. So that is the reason why I'm no longer on the show. I have a lot of other things going on. I appreciate the opportunity. I appreciate the love. I, res I appreciate all of that. And I appreciate 
every last one of the members on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show that have reached out to me to check on me to make sure I was okay. I want to say, Brett, I love you. I Happy birthday. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Eva, you my girl. You already know. Head crack's no longer there. I love you. Rock T, I wish you well in all and everything you do. Special K, thank you for calling me and reaching out to me just to check on me. Not to be nosy. Not to say what happened. No, nothing. All you guys that reached out to me, I appreciate it. And for the one, Ricky even reached out to me to check on me to make sure everything was okay. I'm good. With the staff, God has blessed me in ways in, that you guys would not even imagine. He has blessed me with a team that keeps me on my feet and keeps me ahead of the game. And because I have a team that I have, the Mimi Agency, and even the, the ones that like to stay behind scenes, Anika and Mr. Antoine, they keep me where I need to be and focus. So, again, it's not to bash Ricky. It's not to bash anybody. Not even the two new producers. Even though I feel like it could have been done a different way. But that's my opinion. I understand it looked like y'all didn't want to do it. It That's what it looked like to me. And that's my opinion. Um, it looked like y'all didn't want to do it and didn't know what to say. But it's okay. Because I'm here to save the day. I, re I resign. I'm no longer on the Ricky, Morning, Ricky Smiley Morning Show. I have moved on, and the reason, once again, is because I was not offered a contract, a new contract, for the new show. I'm repeating myself for the people that wasn't there. I was not offered a new contract for the new show, and I refuse to continue to go 12 years under the same terms. I love you guys. Follow me on all of my social media. And YouTube. TikTok. You name it. I am on Cameo. I am on Taki. I'm wherever you can be. You're going to find Juicy. When this coronavirus is over with. You're going to be able to turn on the TV screen and you can find me up and down and all the way around. I'm not stopping because God is not through with me. Okay? Just know that. Love you guys. And Gary, I've been knowing you the longest. And I still, to this day, haven't heard from you. And that's sad. I'm just putting it out there. Everybody, thank you. I still love you anyway. And I'm going to pray for you that your health get better and increase. And I forgot one person. I'm so sorry. I don't want to forget nobody. Beyonce Aloysius. Everybody know that we have never been on the best of terms. And it's okay. Because I still wish you well. Kiss those babies for me. Love you guys. Thank you.